Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India lecture on satellite attitude dynamics and control so today we will discuss about the rotation about a fixed vector already we have been discussing about this so uh, as uh, you can recall that uh, we have written the rotation matrix c as i cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi a tilde a tilde transpose minus sin phi a tilde cross okay. and then we saw that uh, if we are looking for two consecutive ro rotation composite of two consecutive rotations so uh, where the first rotation is given by a1 tilde phi1 and the second rotation by a2 tilde phi2 okay so composite of these two rotations the equivalent of these two uh, can be given by so this implies the whole rotation should be about one single axis which is given by a tilde 3 where a tilde 3 is again the unit vector all this a1 a2 uh, these are the unit vector and this is by rotation by phi 3 angle so these two rotations phi 1 and phi 2 about a1 and a2 respectively are uh, combined together they combine together are equivalent to a tilde 3 rotation about this vector by angle phi 3 and uh, this we have uh, obtained uh, some expression for this so we will get back to that but before this we uh, I told you that uh, we will be discussing about indeed that uh, this rotation matrix is a rotation about the vector a tilde by phi that we have uh, to check geometrically so th that we have not still done so today we are going to do that. So, say this is our E1, E2, E3 cap, this is the basis vector and uh, this is the vector A tilde, okay. so A tilde is a unit vector remember, so magnitude uh, I am showing it in general like this, but magnitude may uh, it has to be taken of a unit magnitude but uh, direction will be governed by whatever the um, say if, uh, depending on what kind of rotation you have given. So, uh, either we go from C to A and phi or either from phi to C. So, here our objective is to given two rotations phi 1 and phi 2 about A 1 and A 2 and what will be the equivalent of that. So, this we have already done. Okay, this part we have derived and I will look back again into this today I am going to verify this that this expression is indeed uh, an equation for uh, rotation about a fixed vector a tilde. So, let us say this vector a tilde is here okay. and rotation about this vector is given by So, this is your r vector which is being rotated about this a tilde vector. So, we consider that this is along this direction a tilde vector may be of unit magnitude. So, obviously, uh, a tilde is not of this magnitude, but we are just showing it like this that a tilde is along this direction. Okay. Now, we break this, this is my vector. So, I can break it into two portions, one along the uh, one along this direction and one along this direction means one along the a vector and another perpendicular to the a vector. So, we can write here 
r equal to okay this will indicate by r normal and this part we will indicate by r parallel so r will be equal to r parallel plus r normal now this matrix this is a rotation matrix so uh, this is basically it shows the rotation of the frame by phi angle about the eigen axis so th here in this case a tilde this is indicating the eigen axis a, a tilde is the unit vector so this happens to our eigen vector uh, 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 eigen axis about which this frame is being rotated now instead of considering this frame that this frame is uh, being rotated consider that just opposite of this that this vector there is a vector r which is being rotated from this place to this place by minus phi so if the frame is rotated already we have seen that if we have one vector like this and we rotate the frame by theta so that is equivalent to rotation of the vector in the opposite direction by minus theta keeping the frame fixed so the same principle is applied here so here after breaking this two now we write it in a proper way so let us make a circle here so this is the component we are which is being shown as rn so this is our rn vector okay. now the component of vector r along a direction so r tilde dot a tilde this is the component of the r vector along the a direction where this is indicated by rp so this is your rp tilde and because it is along the a direction so we have to multiply it by vector a okay so now uh, r prime if we rotate this say if we rotate it from here to here by minus phi this angle is minus phi so we are rotating in the clockwise direction so frame rotates in the anti clockwise direction about this vector by phi so that is equivalent to rotation of this vector in the opposite direction by angle minus phi okay. so here we can indicate this this is the minus phi angle so i will just write the magnitude here okay so it has rotated from this place to this place okay. so this is your rn vector and this is the rotated rn vector okay. so this is equivalent to that this r vector is there and this vector r you rotate from this place to this place so it comes from here to here now this is the vector r so this is your r prime okay so r prime is here so it has rotated from this place to this place by angle minus phi that is in the clockwise direction about the a tilde vector now few things we can observe that a vector is along this direction r vector is along this direction okay so now a cross r in which direction it's going to lie a is along this direction and r is along this direction so if you put this r from this point so you will see that it will be perpendicular to a cross r will be perpendicular to both a and r so r is in this plane here r is forming by this plane this particular line this green line and this is the orange line so it's a perpendicular to this so means it will be perpendicular to this vector rn and we will show this this is your a cross r a tilde or either a cross r if where a is a unit vector now why it is on this circle there is a reason for this if you look into the magnitude of this a cross r vector 
so this will be a magnitude times r magnitude times sin theta and this quantity is 1 so therefore this is r sin theta and what is r sin theta if you look into this so this angle from here to here this angle is your theta okay from green line to the orange line this angle is theta so r sin theta is nothing but your projection of this r vector along this direction that is the magnitude of rp vector this is the magnitude of the rp vector no, sorry uh, this uh, the rn1 okay. so this is projection here on along this direction this is rn so this angle is theta and therefore this is here this quantity so a cross r its a magnitude remains equal to the magnitude of rn therefore it lies on this circle now again if we take a cross a cross r means we write it like this so you will see that a vector is along the normal direction it's a coming out like this okay it's a coming out here out of the page okay and a vector is along this direction so a cross a cross r taking the right hand rule okay so it goes here now this is perpendicular 90 degree this angle is 90 degree we we are so 90 degree angle we will show like this so therefore perpendicular to this will be again here in this place which this vector will indicate by a cross a cross r again the magnitude of this vector a cross a cross r you will see that this is a cross times a cross r magnitude so this quantity is 1 and already we have seen that this quantity is r sin theta so this gets reduced to r sin theta means this is also equal to the magnitude of rn so this is also the magnitude of rn so it lies here in this direction so opposite of this this vector here in along this direction this is minus a cross r and similarly opposite of this from here to here this will lie along this direction and that we will write as minus with minus sign we have to write minus a cross a cross r okay so this is 90 degree this is 90 degree so just opposite of this so it will lie somewhere along this line okay now this is the projection of the vector so if this is r prime and so this is r prime normal this is r prime normal okay means r prime again can be broken along two directions one along the a direction and one perpendicular to this which will we are showing here as a circle so it's a this vector being shown here so r prime this we can write as r prime parallel plus r prime normal so here this is nothing but your r prime normal now this vector it can be so uh, so this vector of minus a cross r we have already shown here and this is our r prime n so now the new vector the new vector consists of this one so if we can define this r prime n so our job will be done so for defining r prime n we see that this is component of this vector along this direction and then component of this vector along this direction so we can write here r n prime this equal to minus a cross r along this direction which is cos 90 minus 5 and component of the vector along this direction and we have to take the component here this vector in the opposite direction and component along this direction so this is minus a cross a cross r times cos 5 okay so this is your r prime n 
this is a normal component and the if we combine with this this r p prime okay which is the parallel along this direction so uh, i will ultimately get the final result so your r p prime r p prime this is nothing but your r p so we just need to add this so final addition so how our vector r prime will look like this is r prime p plus r prime n and this is equal to r p plus r prime n and r p is the component of vector r along the a direction so this already we have written either you write in vector notation or matrix notation it does not matter so here we are using the vector notation so this is the this part and this part already we have written so we just copy that so this is a cross r cos 90 minus 5 and minus a cross a cross r sin phi so this is our rotated vector now we have to get this into the matrix format to see that everything is correct okay so one more step will simplify this as this is sin phi so this is a cross r sin phi and uh, this we need to work out okay yes sorry this part is here cos phi we have written cos phi so by mistake here this is cos phi so this is our cos phi now we need to rearrange it to get the solution what we are looking for okay so first of all we will explore this what this quantity is a cross a cross r okay we need to expand and look into this exactly what it is indicating so if we expand it so this turns out to be a dot r a okay a dot r a minus a dot a r now a dot r this quantity what this is we have to look into a dot a obviously we know this quantity is equal to 1 because the vector a is having magnitude 1 so for writing this here now a dot r this is the angle between this is the projection so here what is the angle between these two vectors between the a and the r vector that we have to decide so what we do that we write in a way where ultimately it comes in this format what we have been looking for c equal to i cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi a times a transpose minus sin phi times a cross this is what we are looking for so we will try to reduce this vector into uh, this vector into this form so ultimately this what is happening that there is a matrix which is operating on this vector r okay and that rotates and gives it a changes it to the vector r prime so ultimately our objective is to reduce it to this format so what this quantity is just one so this is a times a dot r minus r so 
so r prime is our we will write this as this part we are writing it's just taking sign ahead of this so this is sign a cross and r so what our strategy will be to take out this r out of the bracket okay so if we are able to do this my uh, problem will be solved so copying from this place a times a dot r minus this quantity okay it will come here in this place so a a dot r and plus and this minus r minus r times this cos phi cos phi now what we see that here something is common between these two terms okay so we write this as a times a we take and this is a scalar this is the dot product so this is a scalar quantity so that becomes 1 minus a times a dot r times cos phi so this is we take it outside the bracket this is a dot r times 1 minus cos phi and here we are just left with plus r cos phi minus sin phi a cross this quantity as we will show that if we write this as we will do little arrangement we will put this term here in this place so this is r cos phi plus this quantity there after 1 minus cos phi a times a dot r and there after this quantity sin phi a cross r so going on the next page so our r prime that becomes r cos phi r cos phi then 1 minus cos phi so what we are going to do now that write it in a matrix convert it to a matrix format okay so for doing this uh, so what our strategy will be just take it r outside let us write the r out of the bracket so we write r here in this place okay now look here in this place this is r cos phi this is a vector okay and if i take it outside the bracket as here in this place so i must put here cos phi cos phi times identity matrix so this is a vector which operated once it operates on i okay here this is a i matrix and you have here r1 r2 r3 so when any vector is multiplied by the identity matrix it remains as the it remains intact and therefore either we write it here in this format or either uh, in the matrix notation the, that is like in this way it does not matter so we have taken it outside the next term 
once we go for this term, so this is 1 minus cos phi and a dot r. Okay. So, here 1 minus cos phi a times a dot r. So, here we will write this as dot. So, this is here dot written and this quantity as we will show this is equal to a tilde a tilde transpose r we have taken outside. So, this is operating on this r and thereafter this particular term a cross r. So, r is taken outside. So, this remains minus sin phi a cross. So, we next get minus sin phi a cross. So, this is a cross and finally, obviously, we will instead of writing this a and uh, this a arrow rather than writing we write as a a tilde which is indicating the vector here in this format. Okay. So, we have this cos phi i plus 1 minus cos phi this quantity will show as it is equal to a tilde a tilde transpose minus sin phi and this is nothing but your a tilde cross which is a skew symmetric matrix. And this is operating on here r. So, we can indicate this as the r tilde and this is r tilde prime. So, this vector it operates on this vector and uh, it converts this to r prime means what this is indicating this is indicating the rotation of vector r by minus phi rotation of vector r by minus phi okay. and this is equivalent to rotation of the frame rotation of the frame by phi which is anti clockwise and this is clockwise. So, this indicates that r tilde prime this can be written as c times r tilde and where c equal to cos phi plus 1 minus cos phi times i 1 minus cos phi a tilde a tilde transpose minus sin phi a tilde cross. So, this is what we have been looking for only thing remain remaining is that we need to look into this a times a dot this is equi equivalent to this is an identity basically. So, this is a tilde times a tilde trans. So, uh, let us look into this here this way if I put it this as the r. Okay. So, this is nothing but a tilde and this is a scalar. Okay. So, we can write this as a tilde transpose times r tilde. Okay. Now, if we combine this together, so this becomes a tilde times a tilde transpose and this is. So, ultimately this is a vector okay. and here this itself is a scalar, okay. but if we write it in a way where this part this part we have broken as a tilde transpose times r tilde which is the inner product that is a dot product and then separated out this. Okay. So, once we separate out it gets into this format. So, this implies that a times a dot this equal to a tilde times a tilde transpose. So, this is what is has been used in the previous one. So, this proves that uh, indeed the C matrix is a rotation matrix which rotates uh, any vector r about the fixed vector a which is in this case the Eigen axis. Now, from here we go into the um, Euler's theorem uh, which uh, we have been uh, working with. The, uh, what we have uh, 
this is basically part of the Euler's this is Euler's theorem itself but what we are going to do we are going into the Euler's parameter now. So, we will convert this so that this indicates the Euler parameter rather than the uh, a vector which is uh, a vector this is three dimensional one okay, a 1 a 2 a 3. While the we write in the Euler parameter terms of so Euler parameter it is a four variable system okay, in which as I have told you that uh, if I indicate this Euler parameter by e tilde. So, e tilde transpose e tilde plus eta a square this will be 1. Okay. So, these are the Euler parameters epsilon tilde this equal to epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon 3. These are the three variables involved and this is uh, or the parameter and this is one parameter. So, we are going to look into this. So, this is total showing that this is a four parameter system, but actually only three independent coordinates okay. because it is a dependence is shown by this equation where epsilon is related to uh, eta is related to this quantity. So, eta can be expressed in terms of epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon 3, but it has got its certain advantage which we are going to discuss. So, thank you for listening, uh, we will continue in the next lecture. So, uh, thank you again.